What's good everybody, Nathan Producer Beats. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a beat for Nav. He just dropped his brand new album, Good Intentions. So far, I'm really feeling it. Shouts out to y'all that's been showing all the support. Let's get to work. I think we can go down about 120 BPM. Grab a minor. I'm gonna go to copy this. So I want it to be like a shorter kind of pluck type of sound. So let's go ahead and pull these notes back. And we're gonna have to go ahead and change the sound. Ooh, that'll work. So let's go control up on that. Again. That's pretty dope. So let's go ahead and put that in the first mixer track. And we'll go parametric EQ2. We're gonna cut out these lows. I like that. So next we're gonna get into our effects and I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Finisher. That's hard, that's hard. So next I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Pancake so we can get some nice panning in the ears on that. And we're going to go preset slow walker. All right, so I'm going to go back up into the melody because I'm already starting to hear a counter melody and we're going to just play around with that. That's hard. I like that. I like that so far. So let's go ahead and layer this up. So we're going to go ahead and clone this track and we're going to bring in, we're going to go back to our bells. I think we can get some dope. Ooh, that kind of has like a nav vibe to it. Copy and paste it in. So let's get back in into this bell. We'll go control down. So we got the second melody in the second mixer track. So we're gonna go parametric EQ2. Stick with our fundamentals. We'll go presets, 40 hertz cut. We're gonna give it some dynamic. We'll go stereo enhancer on that. Four strings. And then I also wanna add a sidechain effect. So I'm gonna get gross beat up in there. Just uh, quick and dirty. We'll do sidechain B. Let's change the octave a little bit so we can get a little bit more bounce. I like that, I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and jump into our percussion. I think we can really get this going and we will come right back to our melodies. We just want the percussion to drive us to how we want the melody to go. Been doing that a lot lately and it's been working well. So um, I'm for sure gonna get into the Wheezy drum pack for this one. So let's go ahead and get a, a clap. All right. I'm gonna turn down the melodies just a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring in the hi-hats. Um, so 
Let's go ahead and use this one. We'll go fill in each two steps to get us started, and then we'll go inside and play with it. Let's make sure the loop point's off. We'll normalize it. Let's get in there. It's nice and simple. Now let's go in here and play with the velocity so we can get some more dynamic. I like that. So next we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring in, ooh, I don't know, man. Let's, let's, let's bring in some more percussion. See what we can do. So I want to go back into my original melodies and change the octave a little bit. So let's go ahead and play around with it. All right, so let's go ahead and um, bring in some drums. We need a hard 808. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and try to get a better 808. We'll move that to the third mixer, mixer track, copy this one. Let's solo, solo it out so we can hear it. So I'm gonna have to control down on that. I'm hearing something from uh, from XL in this. I want to add that to the third to the fourth mixer track, and we're gonna go ahead and do some work on this. We'll go parametric EQ two. I'm gonna cut out some of these lows. And then we're gonna grab gross beat and we're gonna do a sidechain effect on it. So we'll go sidechain B. And we're gonna go ahead and bring in wider, which is a good uh, effect that it's gonna give us that nice full sound in the ears. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and bring in an element um, that we're gonna use for our arranging and for our hook and all that stuff. So it's just basically a build up. So we're gonna go ahead and clone this. And then I wanna go ahead and bring in another bell. Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up a bit. We'll copy this pattern, paste it in. We're gonna solo it out. And pretty much what we're gonna go ahead and do is just copy this. We're gonna paste it just like that. Oh, that's too much. We'll go ahead and move it over like that. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing for this guy here. Just Control C, Control V. Oops. And then we'll just put it in just like that. And we'll do the same thing for these guys here. So Control C, Control. B or V, it doesn't matter as long as we get it in there. All right. That is sounding pretty good so far, you guys. We are rocking. So next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in a, a kick that we're gonna use to layer up the 808 later.
don't know how I feel about that one. We're coming up to the end of this beat. I think I want to go ahead and change the octave one more time. All right, I think we got a better kick. I went ahead and just used the Nick Mirror one just instead. So let's see how it sounds. We're almost there. I think we just need to change the octave one more time. Let's go ahead and arrange this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight everything. We'll go op or patterns, split by channel. And that's gonna bring us up in here into our arrangement. Then we're gonna highlight everything again here and then we'll go random color. Let's go ahead and start off with the melody. Just bring these guys in and figure out what we wanna do. And we'll bring all that in again. And then I also want to bring in XL on that second part. We'll go straight into the uh, hook straight into it we we'll just let it bounce we're gonna take out some of these guys here just so we can get some better build up we'll cut that out we'll let that ride twice since this is a uh, we did four bars so we're gonna let this ride twice and then we're gonna bring in everything again and we will go with the kick this time so Kick will come in on the second half and then what we'll do on the second half is we'll let it drop so we'll take out that part of the 808 take out that of the that part of the kick okay so from this point we can go ahead and start building our verse so let's go ahead and bring everything back in again we'll drop it and then we're just gonna cut out some stuff here from the melody so let's do these two, see how it sounds. I want to take out the um, XL as well. So we'll go ahead and copy it again. Copy it in. And then I think for this first part of the verse, I'm going to just take out the kicks completely. And then we'll do a breakdown, a, a breakdown of the kick there, breakdown there. And the 808 will come back in right there. And then we are gonna go ahead and bring the full kick in again, full 808, and then the rest of these elements here. We'll bring all these guys in again. And then we're gonna do another breakdown here. All right. So we got eight. All right, so copy all this. We're gonna bring it back in and boom. We got our verse. So all we're gonna do now is copy all this piece here, starting with the hook and the verse, copy that, paste it in, drag it out, boom, just like that. So then we are going to just take this hook again, copy that, and we're gonna throw that, oops. And then we're gonna throw that at the end. So we got the last hook, and then we're gonna take the intro. And then we are going to put that as the outro, just like that. All right, y'all, so that's about it for this beat. Let's do a quick recap. We got the intro straight into the hook. Then we got verse, hook, verse two, hook, and the outro. Let's go ahead and listen to the beat. <laughs> 